What's up everybody? This is my fantasy booking for Survivor Series 2016 Part 2. Here we go with Part 2. If you want to watch Part 1, just go on my playlist of fantasy booking shows. Go down to Survivor Series 2016 Part 1 Fantasy Booking and you can watch that. It's a very short video. I only got two matches booked on it. But here's part two with at least six matches. So here's a fantasy booking for Survivor Series 2016 part two. Up first, I got a match that WWE is actually doing. I stole this match from them. Because I think it'll be entertaining. I'm not going to say it's going to be good. But they better make it a street fight or something to make it better. So they can use weapons. So, because we know the straight up wrestling match these two guys had at WrestleMania 20 was not good. They both got booed out of Madison Square Garden. But this is a rematch, I guess. Lesnar won. Or he lost the first one. But that has nothing to do with this. This is fantasy booking. Brock Lesnar taking on Goldberg. This match is no disqualification. No DQ also. Shane McMahon runs down, interferes. Shane McMahon does a run-in. Tries to cost Brock Lesnar the match. We know Lesnar is a part of Raw. But they don't really talk about that. Because he's not on the Raw team. But Brock is a part of Raw, so I guess that makes Goldberg a part of SmackDown. Who knows? Brock Lesnar wins, even with Shane McMahon interfering. It doesn't matter. No DQ. Brock Lesnar wins and gets his loss back from Goldberg. I don't know if the real match is going to be no DQ. I have no clue. But what I would do... How I would book it, I'd make it no DQ and have Shane McMahon interfere. Goldberg loses to Lesnar. Now, we, up next, another Survivor Series elimination match. Team Raw, the women of Team Raw versus the SmackDown Live women. On the women's team, on for Monday Night Raw, the women's team is Charlotte Bailey, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, and Dana Brooke against the SmackDown Live women's team of Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Nikki Bella, and Naomi. Now I believe those actually, the SmackDown team, that actually might be the real SmackDown team for the women. Oh well, that's what I booked. And I wrote this down about two weeks ago. Before they announced it. Again, SmackDown Women's Team. Becky, Alexa, Carmella, Nikki, and Naomi. The Raw Women's Team is Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha, Nia Jax, and Dana Brooke. I would like to take out uh, Dana Brooke. Let's take her out of the match. Put in Alicia Fox. Because I don't like Dana Brooke. That's why Dana Trump can sit on the sidelines and watch the match from backstage so who's winning I got team raw the red team team raw the raw women I got them winning Sasha is one of my favorite Sasha's on the raw team Charlotte's on the raw team she's one of my favorites Bailey's on the raw team she's one of my favorites but on Smackdown I got some favorites that are on that team also. I really like Becky Lynch. I really like Carmella. I really like Alexa Bliss. Nikki. Nikki's okay. I can tolerate her. Uh, last year I could not. I was really sick of Nikki Bella as Divas Champion. and Because she kept defeating everybody and they wouldn't have her lose. It was pretty stupid. Naomi. I have no issues with Naomi. I actually like her new character in the Feel the Glow thing. And her her entrance, it's pretty cool. Still, I got Team Raw, the women's Raw team winning. Again, it's Alicia Fox, Nijak, Sasha, Bailey, Charlotte, 
and guess what? They all survive. Not one of them gets eliminated, and they defeat SmackDown Live. Now, to a title match. Not a Survivor Series elimination match, but a championship match. The only championship match of Survivor Series. For the U.S. title, Roman Reigns defends the U.S. title. Once again... I'm sorry, people, I apologize, but once again, it's Roman Reigns against Rusev. Yes, we saw this many times on pay-per-view and Raw, but we're going to see it again. This time, it's last man standing. We saw them in the Hell in a Cell, but this time, it's last man standing for the U.S. title, and I got Rusev winning. I got Rusev winning the last man standing match. That's what I would do. Give the title back to Rusev. I guess under protest, I guess I'd have Reigns go after Kevin Owens and the Universal title, but I'd have Reigns lose. <clears throat> I'm not talking about Reigns going after the U Universal title at Survivor Series. That would not happen. I'm talking about Possibly at the December pay-per-view or Royal Rumble. Have Reigns chase Kevin Owens for the title. Even though I'd be against it. <clears throat> Up next, Kurt Hawkins makes his in-ring debut. Finally, Kurt Hawkins makes his in-ring debut. Kurt Hawkins against Apollo Crews. And I got Apollo Crews winning... Because he needs a win on pay-per-view. Even though Kurt Hawkins, if they do face off at Survivor Series on a team, uh, Apollo Crews will probably lose it or get eliminated. Now to another Survivor Series elimination match. We got a Raw. This is a all, all Raw Survivor Series elimination. Darren Young. Sami Zayn, Neville, R-Truth, and Goldust on one team. So Golden Truth, Neville, Sami Zayn, Darren Young on one team. Taking on the team of Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, Titus O'Neil, and the Shining Stars. Who do I got winning? I got Sami Zayn, Darren Young, Neville and Golden Truth winning the Survivor Series elimination match. I'm not going to say who survives because who cares. But the baby faces win that Survivor Series elimination. <clears throat> now to the final match. And NXT is involved. A, a triple threat tag team match. Not a Survivor Series elimination, but it is a triple threat triple threat elimination match got the team of from raw the team of carl anderson and luke gallows is in this elimination triple threat they're from raw from smackdown you got the team of the hype bros and from nxt you got the team of bobby Roode and austin aries they're a team triple threat elimination i got NXT winning Bobby Roode Austin Aries win and defeat Smackdown Live and defeat Raw so NXT gets a victory at the Survivor Series probably the first WWE pay-per-view I fantasy booked with NXT involved so Bobby Roode Austin Aries as a team get the win in the triple threat elimination this ends my fantasy booking for Survivor Series 2016. Hope you all enjoyed it. The card I booked. I will admit. I don't think is that strong. I do not think is that strong of a card. But that's all I could come up with. <clears throat> Last year. Go back. Watch my 2015 fantasy booking of Survivor Series. A championship tournament. I feel that show was much better much stronger of a show than 2016 fantasy booking of survivor series was again the card i came up with was not that strong but that's all i had 
Again, we'll go back, watch my fantasy booking of 2015 Survivor Series. I thought it was a lot better. I thought I came up with a lot better matchups and ideas. Hope you enjoyed this one still. It was only 10 minutes long, so that's a good thing. Follow me on Twitter if you would like. At WWE NXT Guy. Also at NXT WWE Guy. Also subscribe to my YouTube. Like my videos. Comment on my videos. Share my videos. And go back and watch all my other past videos. Watch them all. They're in playlists. Watch my Raw reviews. Watch my SmackDown Live reviews. Watch my Ring of Honor pay-per-view predictions and reviews. Go back and watch my countdown shows. Go back and watch a lot of my fantasy booking shows. I've done a lot of fantasy booking shows in 2016, so go back and watch those. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and bye for now, everybody. Enjoy Monday Night Raw if you're watching. I believe it's in the United Kingdom. Bye for now.